visit us before Christmas. Hi, I'm Shannon Daly. <laughs>
She's a local gal that makes these beautiful purses. They have very, very straight lines. I love she them. She also has little, I call them little ditty bags. These are for knitting needles. They're knitting needle rolls, wallets, and crossbodies. So as part of this partnership with the Urban Moose, Brittany has a lot of her beautiful jewelry here. She also has these really cool metal figures. We have wine glasses that hold a whole bottle of wine, homemade jams and preserves. Throughout the store, we have a couple crocheters. This is one of them. Slight sea glass. She's a local girl. She makes bracelets, keychains, necklaces. There's even some that have the state of Maine on them. Another one of our local crocheters who makes afghans. She also makes the dish cloths for $1.50. I can't make them for that. <laughs> we have another girl that crochets. She makes hats and coffee cups and little gnomes. This room is Jolene Stowe's. She came and joined us. She has a lot of antiques and home decor in here. So the inventory in here switches frequently. She comes in about once a week to swap stuff out. This is Jerry Reynolds' room. Everything in here is from her from the artwork to the slouch hats. The slouch hats are my absolute favorite. They're just fun. She also has some quilts, some vintage quilts in here. She makes dog Danas for your favorite pooch. And right now she has them on sale for Moonlight Madness for $5. She also makes these cowl scarves. They're my absolute favorite. I have three or four of them now and they will be $24.95 on Moonlight Madness. The old My Favorite thing started as a vending. We'd go to festivals and fairs and we'd vend there. And then we finally got a brick and mortar building. We had a wide variety of items. We had women's clothing. We had a music department. We had sterling silver jewelry and other gift items. And there were a lot of people that shopped there frequently. And we didn't realize how missed we were until we closed and reopened. Since we've reopened, I've had a lot of our regulars come in and they ask, do you have? Most of the time the answer is yes. We used to be located down at the bookstore. Prior to that we had a smaller location and then finally we moved to 311 Main Street which was the dollar store before we moved in there. When My Favorite Things, the original store was open, we did a lot of things for the community and with the community. The concerts in the park which are at the stage down on Main Street, that started as Sunday Fun Day. And my dad brought in two tractor trailer flatbeds and we had concerts that first International Fest Sunday Fun Day, and then we saw a need for a stage. So between my favorite things, UPS and Rotary Club, they were able to raise the funds for the stage down on Main Street. I was in high school when I worked at My Favorite Things. My Favorite Things was my first ever job. Sundays used to be my favorite. Sundays were the days that I'd go in and kind of putter around the store. We had at one point over 100 guitars on the wall and they all had to be tuned. Oh wow. <laughs> so I turned into the tune girl and I'd go in and start from one end and work my way right down through. Um, so, and the musicians that we got to connect with, they'd come in. There's actually a really cool story. There was one time my dad was there, my sister was there and I was there and I had just left and I came back and my dad was, you'll never guess who was just here. And I was like, who? Three doors down got stuck at the border for equipment check. And so they asked, are there any local music stores? And so they wandered up to my favorite things and they came in and they were looking around and the guitar player actually taught my sister a couple things on the guitar and then gave her a pick and laughed. And dad goes, do you know who that just was? <laughs> so it was really cool. Oh geez. I remember one time I went on a buying trip with Melissa and Carl. We went to Las Vegas, grabbed my husband. We all went to Vegas bought all kinds of neat things for the other store, had a great time. What goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. So for Moonlight Madness, it's going to be very similar to Black Friday. We have sales throughout the store, anything from 10 to 20% off. We're going to be open right after the parade and we plan to be open until 11 p.m. We definitely want to thank Brittany, Brittany Holloway, the owner of the Urban Moose for letting us use her space and just being awesome because she's a wonderful lady. And then I also need to thank Shannon Daly for being my right hand lady. She has helped with everything. I've also had a couple other people in town that have helped. Kaylee Deacon and Kathleen Wallace have been right there throughout the whole process too.